Why do I still feel guilty? The guilt means your work is not yet finished. Downtown office thinks we got a new player in Hell's Kitchen. What do they want? The DA's office says the shooter's independent. He's tracking gangs to their home turf and taking them out with military precision. With knowledge and hardware to take out half the city, Hell's Kitchen is about to explode. could open the door for men like this. How much longer before innocent people start getting caught in this crossfire? Blood is being shed. And you've donated more than your fair share. The city needs him. I need to take care of the scum that killed my family. People don't have to die. You hit them and they get back up. I hit them and they stay down. Why are you doing this? Because I think you're a half measure. I think you're a man who can't finish the job. I think that you're a coward. You know you're one bad day away from being me. A two-part trailer! That is pretty darn clever. In fact, I am surprised that no one has thought of that before. I mean, we've always had multiple trailers for properties, and I say properties because TV trailers are just as big a deal as movie trailers these days, but it's never been like, oh, this isn't an, a complete trailer. This is just the first half of an even awesomer trailer, and get excited for that already, because here's the release date for that second part. I mean, it's a little bit of an actually weird tactic when you think of it, because it almost asks you not to focus on the trailer that you just watched, right? And it not only does that with the release date of the second half of the trailer, uh, February 25th, but also by, of course, introducing Electra uh, and Elodie Young sounds pretty good. Uh, she didn't have to wait too long to talk a la Gal Gadot, uh, but Gal Gadot delivered as well eventually, uh, but I'm glad to see that they aren't, you know, uh, holding back on Electra as a trump card. I want her to be a big part of this season, largely because I don't know if I would be, you know, I totally reserve the right to change my mind, as I did last time with Daredevil, uh, which did not have a great ad campaign the first time around. I'm fingers crossed they do a better job the second time around. I already like their inventiveness. Uh, the show obviously was amazing, but the idea of listening to Daredevil have an argument with the Punisher for like the whole season, you know, I'm a little iffy on it. I already heard him arguing with Stick about the, a similar basic uh, thing, but then also, I've heard Batman have this argument with so many people, right? Like, if you're a Batman fan, and of course, uh, many people argue that Daredevil is Marvel's Batman to some degree, uh, he always is talking to people, like Jason Todd, for instance, who becomes the Red Hood. And they have a very a, a big difference in their ideology of how to be a vigilante. So, I mean, comic books have had this discussion almost ad, ad nauseum at this point. So I'll be curious to see if a show which is so heavily geared toward comic book readers can reinvigorate that conversation and make it seem fresh. I really like what they've done with the Catholicism with Matt Murdock and that, uh, why do I still feel guilty, Father? I think that's fabulous. No good deed goes unpunished is a fabulous catchphrase, obviously, that brings in the Punisher. And I'm very excited to see jo John Bernthal in this role. And it looks like they're doing a very, very good job, uh, you know, making you sympathetic to what he's going through emotionally, uh, which we'll discuss in the shot by shot. Uh, but And I also like, you know, the idea of Daredevil being directly responsible for this. Although he has the worst friends. They are so horrible. Just when I was starting to like them, they have to totally turn on this trailer and be like, you know, it's all your fault. And he's like, well, and they're like, no, 
it's all you. I'm not even going to let up on it or even give you an if or, you know, just like take a little bit of a break from yelling at you. I'm just going to yell at you nonstop and say this is totally your fault. I mean, no wonder the Punisher is able to get under his skin because it's already been cracked by his so-called friends. Ah, you Ben York, I miss you so much. All right, so I'm curious, what do you think of this trailer? Do you like the first half all on its own or do you think it needs that second half which has been promised? Uh, who do you think will be the most exciting person to see Daredevil go up against in season two? Punisher or Electra, uh, and then also, do you think this conversation can be made interesting? I'm gonna probably, I'm gonna guess yes, just because of the strength of the first season. Oh, but they have a serious hurdle ahead of them. All right, so that's my initial reaction to this trailer, and I look forward to discussing it with you very shortly in the Shot by Shot. Bye. <laughs>